The markets have been getting crushed lately, and I exclusively trade SPY and SMP tracking ETF. So am I profitable? Today, we're going to take a look at my journal. We're going to dive into a couple of changes I've made to my strategy in order to be and remain profitable during this period. And we're going to talk about some other things as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy the transparency. Hit the like button if you do. And if you're new around here, why not subscribe? But yes, as from the little preview there, I am profitable. This is from starting from June 6th because June 6th was the last time I made a major a strategy change. I added an exponential moving average, kind of changed where I enter and exit my trades at. So that's where we start running the journal from. And as I said, I've made a couple of other changes that we will dive into, but let's go ahead and jump. Well, let's look first. Since June 6th, I am up $920, flirting with $1,000 yesterday. We're just shy of $1,000 in profit. Remember, I have a 20, well, now I have nearly a $27,000 account. We are just over 25 grand. So we don't have a huge account. We're actually trading relatively small size. I am small because I do not want a normal drawdown to be able to take me under 25 grand. So keep that in mind too. Yes, yes, I'm not making as much money as someone with a hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand dollar account, but we're doing okay for the account size that we have, right? Anyway, I changed my tag here in Trader View. Trader View is the journaling tool that I use. I changed my tag to show just the day trades. Let's talk about just how my day trading has been going recently. And as you all may or may not know, I only long spy. When I'm day trading, I'm only longing spy. I actually changed that. That was uh, I, since June 6th, I've changed that. Since around in here, I did a little bit of a longer back test of my strategy. And I found that only longing is actually more beneficial than trying to fit the shorts in. Although shorting did work pretty well back here in early June. But over time, only longing works better. I've been doing that for a little while now. That's not new news. But so what I'm trying to get at is for the most part, I'm going to be following SPY, right? Yes, we had a drawdown. We were up $957 day trading. We dropped all the way down to $313. But what was this? This was from 823 to the beginning of September. So late August to the beginning of September. What was SPY doing late August to the beginning of September, right? Uh, this is the daily chart up here. This was, this was, uh, late August. This was 823 right here. This is the beginning of September. SPY drops from 420 to 390. That's a 30 point drop in SPY. And of course, as a long only SPY trader, I'm going to track it. I'm going to lose money too, trying to long SPY. And I did. <laughs> now, Towards the bottom of this, I made a video on this. This is the first change I've made to my trading system. I've made videos on both of these changes. Neither one of these are new things. Um, but the first thing I did was I decided that I was going to change how I decided to do my position sizing. Before, I was upping my position sizes. Once I got up over $500, I raised my position size. You might be able to see that here, actually, from my daily volume. It starts to pick up a little bit once I got over $500, right? Because that was what I was doing before. But I changed it to give myself a little bit more flexibility. I made it more variable, let's call it a variable sizing strategy. Whereas, you know, when the market's hot, let's size up and attack. And when it's not, let's size down. So over these next couple of days, you can see we actually went from up $300 to then up 833. That's a three or sorry, a $530 made in four trading days here. We made back almost this entire dip in four trading days. And what happened there? That was just this run up here. What I did was after this green day, you know, we, we had a really good day that day. We really attacked it. Obviously, the market was really strong, had a lot of follow through. We started sizing up, right? Look at the volume down here in the corner. Look at how you can see on these four days, the volume starts spiking. We go from trading, we're trading 50 shares at a time here. We start trading 75 shares. We start trading 100 shares. We really attack. We attack when the market condition is hot, we attack when the iron's hot, and we make a lot of that money back immediately. And then guess what? Then what did we do? Look at the volume and look at the red days. All of a sudden, SPY gaps down. This is CPI. This is when inflation data is announced. SPY gets a large gap down. We go, okay, guess what? Market condition's not there anymore. Let's size down. As you can actually see from the tr one trade I took so far today, uh, we're only trading 25 shares right now. The market condition's just not there. It's weak. The market's dropped from 410 to 380. That's actually... 
perfectly enough, that's a 30 point drop, exactly like this drop was. It's exactly the same amount of drop. And guess what? In that drop, we lost over $600. And this drop, we've lost, we've gone from 833 to 663. That's, that's what, like 170, $180? So we're much, much, much better now. You know, we, we saw the market condition wasn't there. Let's don't stay sized up. Let's not keep trading the same size if the market condition's not there. Market condition is there for four days we attack. In four days, we make over $500. And then, in, uh, what is this, five, six, seven days now of a weak market, we're only, we've only given back up uh, less than 200, right? Because we're doing variable position sizing. And so far, you know, we only have one example of up and one example of down, uh, but so far so good on that aspect that we have changed in our trading. But yeah, that is the day trades only. Now, we also implemented a brand new strategy. We did not change our day trading strategy at all, other than the position sizing, but we added a brand new strategy. And I have made a video on this. If you want, you know, the back test and the in-depth of this strategy, I'll put a card up in the top right corner of the video now. But this is our overnight strategy. This is where we have an edge on the market while we sleep, right? We, we, we enter a position before market close. We exit the position right at market open. And we started doing this on August 10th. Uh, so about a month and two weeks ago, a little bit less than a month and two weeks ago, and we're up $462. And we're only doing this with six, $7,000 positions. We're not trading a crap load here. We're not trading uh, hugely large positions. Now, if I scroll down, look at the daily volume, uh, this will help tell a story that I want to get into as well. I started this by shorting SPY. So what I'm doing, what I've been doing lately, actually every day so far, we've shorted SPY overnight. This is still a SPY only strategy. I'm still a SPY only trader, but we shorted SPY overnight. And as you can see, you know, we shorted SPY. I think we did 50 shares each. Yeah, 50 shares each, 50 shares each, 50 shares each. All of a sudden, then we jump up all this volume. You're like, holy crap, Trey, you really sized up. No, I just changed it. Instead of shorting SPY now, what I do is I, if I boil up this chart, you'll see, I long SH. SH is an in, a one-to-one -one inverse ETF of the SMP. So now instead of having to short overnight and paying overnight margin fees, I've started shorting S or longing, sorry, I started longing SH instead. So longing an inverse ETF. We're doing it with 650 shares. We actually just sized this up to 750 shares now that we're profitable. Um, but yeah, so if we go ahead and look at SPY, uh, once again, I started it actually funnily enough, as you noticed from the, and I'm, now I'm jumping around a lot, but as you noticed from the journal here, the first day we did this, we lost $177, $75, at $53. Actually, our first three days, we ended up down $300 with this strategy. But in the video I linked before, we had 29 years of back-tested data. So it didn't scare me away. I didn't care. I stuck to it. I know the strategy works over time. That's the point of an edge in the market is it works over time. Who cares about three days, right? We stuck with it. Obviously, from down 300, we're now up 460. It's a $760 swing since our first three days, right? But funnily enough, our, our first day was here. We were short spy overnight on inflation data that gapped the market up large, gapped the market up, gapped the market up. But then obviously since we've caught a nice gap down, caught a nice gap down here, we caught a smaller gaps, so a nice gap down here, a nice gap here. Obviously that is why we are now profitable with that system. It did lose us a little bit of money today, small gap up today, but as I said, not meant to be green every day, just meant to be green over time like this. And this is why you journal so you can see how your strategies are working over time because it doesn't matter how it does in one day, one week, one whatever. You need to see over time like this. But yeah, that's an update on where I've been trading, kind of how my trading has been going since I've implemented those two new things into my trading system. And I just wanted to... I haven't done this in a while. I wanted to show you all my trade journal again. Transparency is, is kind of my thing. It's kind of what I do. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully you guys respect it. But yeah, nice little game. Once again, oh, let's talk about this too. One last thing to touch on. Uh, this this journal is starting from 6-6 six, six, and I only trade SPY. This is starting from June 6th and I only trade SPY. On June 6th, SPY closed at... Or 11.79 is spy close on on June 6. That line is way off. It's 4.14, Trey. Uh, for 11.79 around here, we are down to 3.85 now. That's 26 points down. The markets are down 26 points in the same period that we are trading 
purely that ticker. A ticker we're trading down 26 points and we are up this much money on it. So, you know, a bull market will come back. It will come back. And when it does, you know, hopefully then we can, as with a variable share sizing, if the markets are strong, we can really size up. Let's get past in just four days. I was to the point where I was trading a hundred shares each. So if we get back in that bear market, start trading two, three, 400 shares each. Let's really see if we can start to take this off. But for now, you know, we'll stay measured. The markets are weak right now. We're only trading 25 shares right now because the markets are weak. We're keeping our red days really small, doing what we're supposed to do so that over time, once again, we make money. So that's the trade journal, little update on where I've been trading in my journey. So hopefully you guys, once again, enjoy the transparency. If you made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help. And if you're new around here, why not hit that red subscribe button? Do the magic trick, make it turn gray. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video. I will catch you all in the next one. Please I want to reach 1 million likes. So please Sarapakarai, 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 Sar